Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Giving a major boost to Indian Navy's submarine capability, the fuel cell based air independent propulsion or AIP system of DRDO's Naval Materials Research Laboratory NMRL will soon be fitted on board INS Calvary. An agreement was signed between senior officials of NMRL and Naval Group France in Mumbai on January 23, 2023 to extend cooperation to enter into the detailed design phase for integration of indigenous EIP in the Calvary class submarines. As a part of the agreement, the Naval Group France will certify the EIP design for integration into the submarines. As per the Ministry of Defense, the land-based prototype of NMRL's EIP has been tested successfully. This new endeavor will be a significant step towards the detailed design certification of the energy module which will be performed by NMRL along with Indian industry and design of the platforms impacted by the integration of indigenous EIP system inside the submarine by Naval Group. This new endeavor will be a significant step towards the detailed design certification of the energy module which will be performed by NMRL along with Indian industry and the design of the platforms impacted due to the integration of indigenous EIP system inside the submarine will be conducted by the Naval Group. Now these actions will seamlessly lead the way to a start of the localization and industrialization of AIP including the hull fabrication by the Indian industry for future fitment on board the submarines. The AIP has a force multiplier effect on the lethality of a diesel electric submarine as it enhances the submerged endurance by several folds. The DRDO's 270 kilowatt fuel cell based AIP system uses phosphoric acid as an electrolyte that reacts with hydrogen which is generated from sodium borohydride and liquid oxygen to generate electricity. The fuel cell aims to give endurance of up to 14 days to a conventional submarine. While there are different types of AIP system being pursued internationally, the fuel cell based AIP of DIDO is unique as the hydrogen is generated on board and it is also considered as the best among all the AIP system. At present, only Germany and South Korea has this technology. The AIP will be retrofitted into existing submarine hulls by inserting an additional hull section. On 8th March 2021, DRDU has demonstrated the land-based prototype of fuel cell-based AIP. It was operated in endurance mode and max power mode. The DIDO is also working to develop a module which has to be fitted on submarine when it comes for retrofitting. There are industry partners including Larsen and Tubro and Thermax and the Naval Materials Research Laboratory of DIDO which has developed this. Now the major roadblock for the Project 75i which we have discussed many times is the lack of operational AIP system for the contenders participating or we can say the strategic partners participating in this program. At present, Germany and South Korea only has this capability. The South Korean submarine is again nothing but enhanced version of German HDW class submarine which Indian Navy is also operating. An agreement signed between Naval Group and NMRL will pave the way for proving the DRDO's AIP system in submarine under the operational condition. This will truly lead to achieve the Aat Nirbharta or self-reliance in the conventional submarine building capability. The integration and development of AIP may take 4 to 5 years post which this technology can also be extended successfully to P-75I class submarine. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.